Okay, so I have the initial version of the test environment slash template done. Actually, let me... I'm not a big fan of this low screen percentage. Let's set it a little higher. There we go. Okay, so I have the initial version of the template done. Um, if you press the grip buttons on either controller, it'll switch what kind of movement it uses. I have examples of a bunch of different movement types. So it starts at teleport, just standard teleport. And then you switch it once and you get navigate, which navigates you to that spot instead. And you switch it again, you get D-pad press controller orientation. So if you press on a button on the D-pad, it takes your thumb position and moves you with the controller's orientation. And if you move your thumb in closer to the center of the D-pad, then it's slower. And if it's farther out, then it's faster. Next one is D-pad hover control orientation. This one, you just have to press your thumb to, to the D-pad, and it'll do it. You don't actually have to press down on the, um, on the buttons. It just, it's touch sensitive. D-pad press HMD orient. This one uses your head position for pressing. So when you look, that's where you're going. Uh, hover H and D orient, so same thing. So wherever you walk, it goes away from. I will use controller orientation. Also, there is a brief example of how to use the custom controller skinning from Steam, where it'll load your um, controller skins from Steam or the default blank controllers if not. That's why these are Overwatch. I use Overwatch skins for Steam. I need to enhance this a little bit so you can animate them too, but for now, this works. Okay, I got the door working. It's just you reach out, grab with trigger, swing the door, should open, walk through, swing the door closed, and when the door closes, it stops simulating physics and it blocks you. You can't walk through it anymore. So you can open it up and while it's moving, you can walk through it. And you won't interact with the door, but as soon as it stops moving, it freezes and blocks your path. So you're stuck outside of it. And this uses the manipulation grip. Because manipulation grip was intended for this kind of interaction. It doesn't really take it doesn't take controller rotation except for twist. And it's basically just to control things like this. And just a physics constraint right here on this actor. The door frame has no collision with my gripping system. Hit my ceiling. And um, it's set to a maximum opening of 45 degrees and then a negative 45 degree offset so it can't actually come out this way anymore. It's, it's just this little bit here. Works pretty good though. Alright, so I have some drawer examples. One's a physics constraint with manipulation grip, which is honestly the easiest one. Just grab it and swing it, and when you let go, it freezes wherever you let go. You can pull it out, push it back in, whatever, it's constrained. The other one uses interaction settings, so it doesn't have to be a manipulation grip. It can be any grip, like this. But manipulation grip still works better because it doesn't take controller orientation into effect. So I prefer using the physics version for this. It just works better. Okay, as you already saw, I made a slider actor, which just sets a console command based on its position. Works pretty well. When you let go, it sets the console command. So I'm gonna set 300, let go, it's 300 now. I'm gonna drop it down to 250. Well, I'm a forward renderer, so I think I cap out at a little lower than 250 before I start having issues. All right, gun. Now, I showed off in the first video, but this gun is physically simulating. So it looks like it's locked onto my hand. It's actually also a physics object. It won't clip through walls. So I didn't show that very good because in the first video, I picked it up and then just went like that. I didn't show that it actually wouldn't go into the table. It still feels parented because um, I'm using the center of mass now for this grip. I've added a little note at the top here, which is a grippable component, which you can slide back and forth. That simulates having something like a bolt or something on the gun when you grab it, cock it, whatever. Um, 
normally this would probably be invisible and just use a control and animation or a bolt slide. But I just wanted to show that it was possible. That it works pretty well. Everything else works as expected. Normal gun behavior, trigger to fire. You have to press trigger again to let go of your secondary grip. And grip button to drop the weapon. I had jump enabled. Um, I disabled it because I ran out of buttons on the controllers. Um, I mean, jump's pretty easy. You just call the jump command for the character, and it works. Also, um, I have an example of lowering the player's capsule height, depending on the height that you're at. So if you crouch, you can crouch underneath things like this and crawl underneath them. Although I have collision off for these, so it doesn't get in your way. And um, it's not enabled because it's not usually needed, but the code to do it is in the blueprint. So if you just hook up the timer and store uh, the handle, then you can use the capsule height. And it should be just fine. But it's mostly working perfectly. Um, there's some small things that I want to fix eventually. Like the resolution was bugging out on it, and that's just silly Unreal Engine stuff. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll get this first version out so people can get a handle on how things work. The nodes are fairly complicated. I made everything very generic, so it handles a lot of different cases that usually people probably don't need to handle. Like it automatically handles all these objects. I'm not um, storing in the character how to pick this up. This object knows how to pick itself up. So when I go and tell the object, hey, I want to pick you up, what do you want to be picked up like? It's like, hey, I want to be, pick I want to be picked up as a physics object, and I want to allow double gripping, and when you go to grip me, my socket's up here, so that's where you grip at. So it's a little more complicated than normally a setup would be. Not everybody needs every type of physics grip. Not everybody needs every feature of the plugin, but this allows you to do whatever you want. I mean, this drawer right here, this is just a grippable actor with a physics constraint on the back, and it just works. You don't have to do any kind of drawer logic or anything. Normally, you would want like a chest actor and then grippable components on it that would act as a drawer. But, I mean, this is just an example. That's how I did it over here with the slider. I have a slider actor. This is a component. This is a component. And this is the only component that can be gripped. And it handles itself. So, that's how that works. You'll see if you look at the code. But I'll upload this and release it, and should be good. All right.